Teaching kids how to protect themselves from predators can help keep them safe. That is the goal of Time Out. It's a Price County group that works to educate kids about sexual assault. The team visits daycares and schools, teaching kids things like body safety and being able to communicate things they don't like. Time Out thinks it's important to educate kids, even though sexual assault can be difficult to talk about. Giving them those skills early on is just, it's just another safety measure. It's preparing them for something that we hope never, ever happens to them. But if it does, they know what to do. Parents can help teach their kids even in simple ways. Rules can be used to help kids learn respect and control. Maybe one of the easiest ways is having a family rule that if someone says no or stop, the person has to stop. And that's really important, just teaching them basic respect about their body, that they get to be in charge of what happens to their body and how people touch it. Time Out says starting the education at a young age helps develop awareness. There are plenty of resources for those who want to learn more. You can find some on our website. Just head to WJFW.com. Rest a little easier with people much closer to them who can help. The Tri-County Council will combine its main offices and safe house all under one roof. The Domestic Violence and Sexual Assault Group in Rhinelander has had offices on Highway 47 and County K for years. Its staff recently remodeled the attached buildings with furniture, appliances, and a new security system. Staff thinks that keeping the house and office close will be a big help. There are lots and lots of times when um, the people who are staying in the shelter need advocates assistance and we're right here now under this building there is always somebody available that will be able to help them the new shelter will be in a much more comforting and visible location advocates hope the new more public safe house will send a powerful message to the community to let the community know not only where we are but so that they can also help be the eyes and ears of keeping people safe and to let perpetrators know most importantly that our community supports victims. People can tour the new housing units before they open in August, and many still need families who want to adopt and furnish some of those units.